we are coordinating a little group ride. Hopefully it could turn from a little group ride to a big group ride. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. It's e Rock Rods. And we are going on a ride. It should be a short ride, a quick ride. We are on the Onyx CTY2 today because we are commuting to a work function. We have a little work gathering. We're commuting today. So on today's ride, I want to talk about why I prefer riding the Onyx CTY2 over my new Talaria XXX for commuting. As you guys have seen by now, I just recently picked up the Tularia XXX and I've been riding the heck out of it. The CTY2 has not been getting much love lately, but today we're picking it up and it's just because it's better built for commuting in terms of like commuting on the streets with traffic. The Onyx CTY2, it comes stock with blinkers, uh, functioning tail light, you know, those, those things that make you more visible on the street with cars and traffic. I don't like that the brake light is a little small, but still, the, having the functioning brake lights, the, the daylight running lights, the turn signals, all of those things make it nice for commuting in comparison with my Talaria. So besides just coming with the features to make you visible on the road, the CTY2 it weighs a little bit more, it's a little bit more heavy, and the the weight the weight of the bike is like very low. So when you ride this bike, especially at like speeds, it feels super stable. If you're stuck to the ground. It's a pretty windy day today and I felt like my head was getting pushed around but the bike felt super stable. This guy's riding at a nice pace. 33. Very nice. Keep it up, brother. When I've been testing out my Talaria XXX, yeah, it has a top speed. It reaches high speeds. Like, very similar to this bike. Maybe a little bit lower. But, it just... It doesn't feel as stable. When I, when I start hitting around like 40 plus, 45, you could feel the front start to shake a little bit. So it, it, it gets a little scary. It just doesn't feel as stable as, as this bike. So definitely when you're riding at speeds, the CTY2 feels more stable and it feels like a nice like cruiser. Definitely a nice cruiser bike. Also, when you're not riding a bike, the CTY2 comes with a security system basically. It has an alarm, which the Talaria XXX does not have. They both have horns, which is a good thing, but when you're not riding the bike and you're locking up, yeah, you're going to lock up with a chain or, uh, you know, brake locks or, you know, handlebar brake locks, whatever you have. It's nice that there's a security system on this bike that comes stock. It's that extra layer of protection besides just like locking up your bike however you're going to lock it up. Yeah, I know you could get aftermarket things, but... It's always nice that they come stock stock on the CTY2 in comparison to the Talaria XXX. When I'm commuting, I definitely prefer this bike for you know for those reasons that I mentioned. It has a little bit higher top end. The torque isn't as fast as the XXX, but the top end is definitely, I feel, is a little bit higher. Either that or I'm just not pushing the Talaria as high because the front wheel doesn't feel as stable. Did I miss my turn? I think I did. I did add some aftermarket turn signals. I, I added the, uh, the wing lights on both ends of the bike. Um, so that helps with uh, being a little bit more visible so cars know which way I'm going. Not as easy as toggling just like a little switch down here versus you have to like tap the ends of the wing lights for them to, to engage. They'll turn off by themselves after I think like 60 seconds. I mean, they're, they're nice and bright, and I like that addition that I added to the bike, but I, did, I had to take off my bar-end mirrors on the uh, Talaria. Another reason why I'd like to commute with this over the uh, Talaria, of course, 
is um, because it looks more low-key to law enforcement, it looks more like a bike, with the pedals especially, the Polaria just has pegs. I feel a little bit safer not having to worry about the cops giving me a problem riding the uh, CTY2 versus the Polaria out in traffic. They're going to say it's a dirt bike and then they're going to try to uh, impound it or something. That's like the worst case. So a couple other things. I did a recent poll on my YouTube channel and it seems like a lot of people like to share your PEV series. And as much as I love that series too, I can only get people when I am um, basically going out on a group ride. So as much as I want to keep that series going, it's limited by the uh, amount of people that I get interview on their bikes, and that's usually only when I go on group rides. So I was trying to think of what I could do. Since a lot of people do like that series, I was thinking of opening it up to the community. Basically, I was going to open it up to anyone on the community that wants their, their bike or their PED showcased on the channel to reach out to me and then you know we'll talk about any specifics that you have to submit and then we could keep the series going you know just as long as people want their bike showcased or want their PED showcased on the channel I think it's a great way to share your quote unquote share your PED and keep the community engaged and spread the knowledge of uh, PED so if you want to do that Send me a direct message, send me a DM on Instagram. If you don't have Instagram, um, you can send me a message on Facebook Messenger and I will respond there. And then we could talk about what you need to do, what you, need to, what you would need to submit to have your bike or PEV showcased on the Share Your PEV short series. Let's let these people go first. It's never good to see. I'm putting a kicker out today. Alright, so we did our little job of right there. So we just passed by the uh, the nurse is on strike. So one thing, one last thing I want to mention before we end this video. We are coordinating a little group ride. Hopefully it could turn from a little group ride to a big group ride to show some support. We're planning it for her on Saturday the 26th. We're going to try to ho host a group ride in New Brunswick on Saturday the 26th. I'm working on getting some flyers out right now. I'm working with a couple riders uh, that are local to the area so we could show our support to the uh, nurses on strike and then also have a little fun doing a little group ride. We'll have a flyer out in the near future. So if you guys are free that on that Saturday, then definitely try to come out and support if you can. So we have a new camera. We upgraded to the DJI Osmo Action 4. I just got it for my birthday, thanks to my wife. So I'm curious to see how this looks, this video looks, but I think I'm still going to have to invest in a, in a mic system. I've never used a mic system, but whenever I'm riding the Solaria XXX, the mics drown out all of my audio. So I'm going to have to figure out some other solution. We're almost to uh, my site, so I'm going to end it here. If you guys enjoy the content, please consider subscribing. Hit that thumbs up button, it really helps out the channel. And we will catch you on the next ride. Alright guys. Right on.